The city of St. Cloud began observing a significant sediment plume into the Mississippi River from a 96-inch storm drain outfall during the reconstruction of the Granite City Crossing Bridge. Stormwater runoff from 367 acres in northeast St. Cloud discharges to this outfall. Why do we care? The discharge area consists primarily of industrial and commercial land uses with little or no stormwater treatment before discharging to the Mississippi River, the city's sole drinking water source. Because of this, the city quickly identified the northeast drainage area the top priority for further inspections, education, enforcement, and water quality improvement projects. Northeast St. Cloud consists of the area east of the Mississippi following Highway 23 until the intersection with Highway 10 near Target and Burger King. This includes Wilson Avenue Northeast, Lincoln Avenue Northeast, and East St. Germain Street. How is this problem being solved? In 2012, the city worked with SCH, a local water resource engineering firm, to complete the Northeast Drainage Analysis Report. This analysis set the approach to improve water quality runoff from the area. The report focused on prioritized water quality improvement projects, education, and ordinance enforcement measures. Annually, Northeast St. Cloud adds 68 tons of sediment to the Mississippi. That's 3.5 dump trucks worth of sediment. The city has been vigorously working to implement the plan and complete stormwater quality improvement projects. Short-term goals completed in 2016. Underground regional treatment system, four sump catch basins, a street sweeper, a green right-of-way, and the East Germain bioretention. Long-term projects will lead to a 70% sediment reduction. How will these projects be paid for? The Clean Water Land and Legacy Amendment. The Clean Water Legacy Grant works to protect, enhance, and restore wetlands, lakes, prairies, rivers, forests, groundwater, and fish, game, and wildlife habitat. The amendment increases sales tax by three eighths of a percent and distributes the funds into four separate funds. 33% into the Clean Water Fund, 33% into Outdoor Heritage Fund, 20% to Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, and 14% to the Parks and Trails Fund. Projects completed. Part of the efforts to improve water quality on the northeast side of St. Cloud was the installation of a regional treatment facility. The 45-acre drainage area consists primarily of industrial land uses. During the preliminary design stages of the project, it was evident that space was going to be a challenge due to the highly developed area. With limited space, it was determined that the best option for providing treatment was to go underground. After evaluating a number of underground treatment options, it was decided to install three 200 lineal foot rows of 11 foot diameter corrugated steel pipe to create an underground detention sedimentation system, basically a below ground stormwater pond. A splitter structure on the existing storm drain system within Lincoln Avenue directs drainage into a 60 foot pretreatment cell to capture large particles and floatables before entering into the main treatment cell. The main treatment cell includes four strategically placed weirs to help promote sediment retention and allow for sectional drawdown for easier cleaning and maintenance. Overflow water from the system flows back into the main storm drain system that discharges to the Mississippi River. The underground system also includes seven inspection and ventilation ports. The system is expected to remove over 10,000 pounds of sediment annually. Sump catch basins, 
Sumps direct rainwater through pipes and allow sediment and pollutants to become captured. Each sump will treat an average area of two to five football fields. Annually, the four installed sumps will remove an estimated 1,500 pounds of sediment, the weight of a full-grown Holstein. The city comes periodically to remove water and sediment from the sumps and brings it to a facility for further disposal. Targeted street sweeping has proven to be a very cost-effective way to remove pollutants before they can enter the storm drain system. The City of St. Cloud partnered with Benton SWCD to utilize a Bowser Clean Water Fund grant to help purchase a regenerative air street sweeper for use in the Northeast St. Cloud drainage area. The regenerative air sweeper uses a controlled blast of air to dislodge debris from the street surface. Sediment debris and fine dust particles are then forced up into the air stream where a heavy duty suction hose sends the material into a hopper within the sweeper. The closed loop system keeps the sweeper dustless. The main advantage to using the regenerative air sweeper is the efficiency to remove fine dust particles missed by broom style sweepers. The city uses a targeted street sweeping approach in the northeast area, sweeping problem areas more often. In 2016, 348 yards of sediment and debris was removed from the Benton County portion of St. Cloud through this targeted street sweeping program. What is the total outcome of these projects? Annually, these projects will treat 22 million gallons of stormwater and prevent over 24,000 pounds of sediment from entering the Mississippi River. Phosphorus reduction is a secondary benefit of these projects, which leads to reduced plant and algae growth and cleaner water downstream. A special thank you should be given to the Clean Water Legacy Grant, the Board of Water and Soil Resources, Benton Soil Water Conservation District, SEH Inc., Landweir Construction, the City of St. Cloud, and Clint's Excavating. Thanks to everyone, the Mississippi River is becoming cleaner every day.